Hi guys, welcome to Post Talk and Live. Um, sorry that things are a bit slow, running late. <laughs> we literally got the time difference kind of messed up, so bear with us. This is how I can get into spice on the line. Okay. So yes, joining us today is DJ Spice. Sorry guys, we're really late. Like, um, so just trying to get things sorted to be honest. My name is Chanel and I'm your host. You can follow me at it's Chanel. So joining us once again is DJ Spice. So he just joined the live, so I'm just gonna add him in, okay guys? Greetings. Good evening, good afternoon, your time. <laughs> <laughs> I say, what? You're running late. Peace. <laughs> Are you driving right now? Uh, I I am. Oh, okay. So. You want me to wait until you pull over or? No, no, I'm good. Okay, okay. How's your day going so far? Uh, crazy. Yeah. But crazy is good. Okay. Uh, we, just, uh, we just released a, a new Team Soka design. I don't know if you've seen it. The Don't Jackassy thing. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. Don't, yeah. Don't Jackassy thing. Mm. So it's it's kind of moving very fast. So mm -hmm. we're just trying to keep up with the demand. Okay. 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 You know, but also uh, getting ready for Juve Fed this Saturday. Mm -hmm. By uh, Denise Belfont, yeah, in in New York, mm -hmm. yeah. So we got that going on, and then Bungie Garland down by Coney Island, mm -hmm. Saturday evening. Okay. And then Bungie Garland in Orlando Sunday. Mm -hmm. So, lots going on. A lot's going on for real, for real. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for taking time, you know, to join the platform because I know you're busy and. You might have a lot going on. Just the fact that you've taken the time for my little small platform. <laughs> you know, I really appreciate that, honestly. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> now what is push is Cold Spice. Yeah. Anything to push the culture, give me mm -hmm. a holler. You know? Okay. Okay. So tell us where you got your name, DJ Spice. When did I get my name? Uh, many years ago, mm -hmm. I, uh, now this is back in the days with uh, playing vinyl and that stuff. Now, this is an easy, over 30 years, 35 years. Mm -hmm. Next year will be 40 years that I'm in the industry. So, mm -hmm. playing amongst my peers, we, uh, I was the only dude doing crip, mixing reggae, hip hop, Calypso, mm -hmm. And they gave me that name. Okay. Now, these were American dudes, and I was the only Caribbean, one of the only Caribbean guys playing these type yeah. the reggae's and the soca. So, they were like, yeah. that's you. Okay. They just call you Spice. Yep. They didn't know about if I was from Jamaica, if I was from Grenada, if I was from Trinidad. Yeah. They just said, that sounded hot. Spice mm. is the name. Okay. And you just run with it. Yeah. The rest is history. Mm. Okay. So, your Trinidadian heritage? Correct. 
So were you born in Trinidad and you moved to the States or were you born in nope. the States? I was born right here in Brooklyn, New York. Okay, okay. True born, okay. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. But your family, family, Trini, right? Part of Trinidad. Got family, Trini, got some Grenada in there, got some yeah. other stuff in between, but... Okay. So which part of Trinidad is your family from? Because, you, know? you know, we Trinis, we like to say, yeah, I'm from South too, you know. I'm from oh, okay. <laughs> well, my dad's family is from Tonopuna in the East. Okay, yeah, yeah. And my mom from Lavento. Okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Because I'm Trinidadian as well. Okay, what part? Mar Marbella, San Fernando. Oh, okay, so, 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 yeah, so. <laughs> Okay. Big up my South people. Yes. I, <laughs> I see DJ Ghost Team Soka DJs to the world, don't know. Don't know. Big up yourself. So what's the most rewarding part about being a DJ for you? The most rewarding part of just being able to entertain people, to be able to express myself in mu musically. Yeah. You know, I was born into this. My dad used to DJ, and I've been DJing, you could say, from since the age of three, doing yeah. people's yeah. weddings. So I was brought up as a wedding DJ. So in a wedding, you know, you gotta be hype. Yeah. You know, you gotta get the crowd going. You gotta turn, turn down the, the, the tempo when they're eating and then raise it right back up. So, born on wedding DJ and doing different genres and stuff. Mm -hmm. Just being able to entertain people, you know, the feeling that the, so, the, the energy that you get from the people and you yeah. give it back to them. So, being a DJ was definitely just the choice you wanted, you know, to be an international DJ. You never thought about being an artist or producer on the lines of? Uh, yeah, it was just, you know, that was it. Mm -hmm. I went to school for uh, computer science. So right. um, that was, that is my nine to five, mm -hmm. you know, and just doing my DJing on the weekends and stuff. And then up until 2016, I was DJing and doing my regular job. So after 2016, it's just been full time DJ Spice, full time Team Soka dot com, yeah. full time anything for the culture. <clears throat> Excuse okay. me. Okay. So what made you decide to to do, you know, Soka? Because you know you're based in the states, you're born in Brooklyn. You know, it's the mm -hmm. main thing is is hip hop and R and B. So what mm -hmm. made you decide I want to be a Soka international Soka DJ? Well, it's not. I wouldn't say it was like destined because mm -hmm. having a lot of elements around you. My mm -hmm. granddad being the founder of Trinidad All Stars, Neville mm -hmm. Jules, mm -hmm. you know, my dad being one of the top Caribbean DJs out there, sound system wise, just, uh, doing uh, weddings, etc. And, you know, you just want to do things for the culture. So, I've been blessed to be able to play on the American radio stations, uh, WNWK 105.9, uh, WLIB. Now, a recent 105.1, yeah. you know. Uh, I've been blessed to be able to, to be on these urban, top urban stations. Yeah. So, they already had their hip-hop DJs, you know, they already had their reggae DJs, so I, I'm able to represent for the soca crowd, okay. so it was only right, yeah. and yeah. With, uh, f with following that same thinking, mm -hmm. it was only right that I put together Team Soka, because I know all the top soca artists, yeah. okay. you know, I know all the top soca DJs, so bringing all the top soca DJs together, Sorry, guys. Connection issues. Bear in mind, guys, he is driving. So, yeah, let's get him back on the live. Hold on, guys. Let's get him back on. Oh. All right. 
yeah, maybe this area that we're in. Yeah, I'm, you yeah. I'm not driving. I'm being driven. This, this is the oh, boss okay. lane here. Hi. <laughs> so behind every good guy, every yeah. great guy, you know. It's a strong woman. Hi. <laughs> so, yeah, where were we? Um, the whole creation of, of the, the movement, right? I'm based here in, in the States, in New York, as you say. Mm -hmm. Hip-hop runs things, uh, urban, pop, you name it. So, for the culture of Soka and Calypso, the world, as you know, doesn't respect it as these other genres. Exactly. You know? Yeah. So, there was a need for someone to step up. Yeah. And I stepped up, created the project, it started on a uh, a PC laptop, the radio station, teamsoka.com. You could go there and listen to soca music 24 7. Like, where did you get the name? Like, where, you know, how did it spark the, the name, the, 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 you know, the, the logo? Where did all these ideas come from? Uh, well, they, they would court people on the urban, because I would do a lot of urban parties and. Yeah. The promoters would call me the Soka King. Right? So, all right, I'm the Soka King. I'm trying to educate the world, entertain the world on Soka and Calypso. But in this world, I couldn't call it Team Spice. Yeah. You know? Team Spice would go so far. I have always been also when I was younger with my dad who coached soccer teams and stuff playing different islands and right so I kind of took the team from there grew in the soccer yeah. team soccer okay. you know so that's how Team Sober is created. I then checked all the so social handles. I said, oh, what are you Let's go. Team Sober. Okay. Your and the, mar kind the of marketing shocking. behind it is so, uh, how about now? You good? Yeah, yeah, you're back now. Okay. Yeah, yeah the marketing behind the whole project. I just used the same energy that I used to market DJ Spice and took and sent it to Team Sober. Okay. Nice. You know, so the t-shirts. Yeah. You know, the t-shirts, the hats. Like, I can easily say that Jay-Z made the Yankee fitted hot. I made the snapback hot in the Caribbean. Yeah. Exactly. So, would you say that's you the know? signature apparel, apparel for Team Soka? Yeah, the, definitely. Def well, I'm a hat guy. I always have one hat. If anyone knows me, I'm always a hat. So, I had to make sure that the hat fit fit is, was perfect. Mm -hmm. So, from the hat, the T-shirt. Mm -hmm. When I when I first came out with it. Got a big up to Cohen Dubois. I had made a t-shirt design for him when he came out with his song, Bacchanalis. And on the front of the t-shirt, had Bacchanalis, and then it had a definition of Bacchanalis, and it had his name, and on the back, had the Team Soka logo. Okay. On the back of the t-shirt, so that carnival, that year... Mm -hmm. How long um, have, you know, the brand been... Like how long ago have you started, you know, the brand? We say about 2009, 2010. Signal. Around there. Sorry, I didn't catch that. The signal broke up. Is my signal? Let me try. Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. 
Yeah, yeah. How long have you know Team Soka has you know been in the game? Like how long has it been? Yeah, uh, Team Soka has been around since two thousand nine, I would say, two thousand ten. Okay. Okay. You know, growing strong. Uh, yeah. Team Soka is comprised of the best Soka DJs around the world. We try to keep the quality up. Mm-hmm. So we have DJs from London. Big up DJ mm-hmm. Tate. DJs from Canada. Big up Dr. J. DJ Shy, Sin, Florida, Barry Hype, Brian Saeed. Mm-hmm. You know, we have DJs from all over. And the reason being is that DJs, let's say DJ Tate, has a particular style of playing in London for the London mm-hmm. crowd. Mm-hmm. I have a particular style of mixing for the New York crowd. Yeah. So, you know, coming together and being able to not only share music, but also share our vision, our views of the music and how we can help to elevate it. Okay. So it's actually a team. And you know, I didn't even mm-hmm. know that. I thought, it, I thought it was, you know, cause it's, I don't know if it's cause of my generation. <laughs> cause you mm-hmm. know, back in the days or like a couple of years, five years ago, it was like this hashtag team, everything like team, team this team. So I thought it was team. Mm-hmm. I thought you were following the Instagram you know, the hashtag team. So that's why I thought oh, no, no, team no, no. Soka. I was just, mm-hmm. So I learned something. No, 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 no. Okay. But nah, it's, it's, it's over. We're, we had over 62 DJs. Yeah. Okay. Worldwide. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. Okay. Nice. So talk to Heavy. us about the Team Soka um, sneakers or trainers, we would call it here in the UK. All right. So the trainers... The trainers came around due to me just being online as I'm usually and just seeing what else I can do to show the the the, the culture, show soca, so show team soca. So I just stumbled onto the uh it's a company out in Italy. Right? Mm-hmm. And they have to uh you send them your story and they like my story and the rest is history. Now we have uh, trainers. Yeah. I've nice. never designed a sneaker in my life. You know, yeah. I tried. Well, I designed, I designed all the t-shirts. Yeah. Most of the stuff. So that's my thing. So I tried and people, the people like it. Yeah. It's amazing. Just got to keep trying. Yeah. Honestly, I was like, wow, that's big. That's really big. You know, and then the flip on that is uh, when I really start doing marketing on the sneaker and have like basketball players or singers or whoever, mm-hmm. and they wear Team Soka sneakers, okay. and they're like, "Wow, what's you know the American person be like? What's what's this Team Soka? What's Soka? You know, mm-hmm. it starts a conversation, which is the whole mm-hmm. point. Okay. Well, Soka is connected to. In yeah. the different island, the Caribbean, and carnivals, and et cetera, et cetera. So it, con- it starts a conversation. So that's the whole point of the project. It's a beautiful thing what you're doing for the culture, honestly. It's it's inspiring because, you know, that's basically push, like, I start push soca, kind of the same same reasons, same values, just to push the culture a bit more. And it's just, it's nice to speak to someone that's doing it. So I really am I'm grateful for this opportunity that you've given me to interview. Yeah, big up to you and big up yeah. to the whole Push Soka project, you know? Yeah. Because, you know, we have to do it for the culture because ain't nobody else doing it. Exactly, yeah. You know, it's not for us, but it's for the future. Mm-hmm. They're going to thank us down the line, you know? So we just got to keep pushing until uh-huh. Soka music, you know, our art, artist the art form is on that grammy stage except yeah. an award saying you know exactly this is for the caribbean so what you know you we say? started we started not the country we started a petition mm-hmm. years ago and i think we're over ten thousand signatures now on the website right. to help show numbers because with these companies they'd like to see numbers yeah these labels and you know, everything. Big up to the crew in South Carolina. We were in South Carolina last week. 
they had their carnival weekend. They didn't have an actual carnival, but they had like a street fair, parties, juve, mm -hmm. etc. You know, so you guys are out there, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> no, no, I'm pumping. Everything's open up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I see you all okay. getting ready for they got a, they got a, a juve, a Dreamland juve. What's be coming up? Yeah, but the thing is, they've pushed back. Um, Boris has pushed back the um, um, opening dates, so we're not sure if anything's gonna happen until we find until we wait until the nineteenth. But he keeps pushing the dates back, so we don't know one hundred percent sure if he's gonna be able to party yes and be free. Mm -hmm. But hopefully, hopefully, things turn around and you know we get to do what we enjoy the most. Yeah, man. Because actually, I was supposed to play for someone's wedding that's coming from England and they had to move yeah. the date. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah it's crazy. You, know, you just got to keep the prayers up, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, shout out to, I see some people from Florida, VJ, Vanessa James Media, big up. Big up mm -hmm. to my One Island family, Rudy, I see you. Getting ready for Miami Carnival. So Miami, so Florida is open, right? Yeah. Everyone, the last carnival of the year, Miami Carnival. So Miami's going to be crazy. Right. So, if you get a chance to be able to fly out of London around that time, you might want to head down there. Because, yeah, it's going to be a... <laughs> it's going to be... I honestly want to. <laughs> but, you know, priorities. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> you got to do what you got to do, you know? <laughs> Moving forward, you know, hopefully yeah. the carnival is there. Mm. We're also working oh, on uh, New, York, New York carnival. Yeah. To see what we can do for, for us over here. Okay. So everybody on the line, remember I said, look out for New York Convo 2021. We're working on something. Stay tuned. Okay. So what would you say is your biggest highlights of your career thus far? Biggest highlight was playing in the Barclays Center. Okay. Wow. Yeah. What was that experience like for you? It was... One. I, I, I can't even explain the, the energy. Yeah. It was it was crazy, yo. A packed crowd. Uh, Marshall was on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, Allison Hines. Big up David Levy. You know, it was it was magical. Yeah. Okay. You know, the whole time in that stadium and the whole crowd rock. Mm -mm. Yeah. There's, there's, there's nothing yeah. like it. Do you remember a song, a particular song that you played? Mm. Do you remember which song was it? Oh, a particular song? Mm. I couldn't even tell you. It was just, you know, you, you're in the fun. moment and you just yeah. jam it. Yeah. Okay. You know? Okay. So let's talk a little bit about soca. You know, um, do you feel like soca music or soca and a whole needs more unity? Uh, soak in a hole? Well, does it need more unity? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. yeah. Definitely. Well, I would say that this pandemic has flattened the curve in terms of music. Not only soca, but mm. just be being able to create. So everyone's at home. So you have not nothing else but to do is to write or produce beats So. Upstairs. So, it's it's up to us to want to be able to come together and elevate the music, elevate the culture. Yeah. You know. Okay. People know what they have to do, you know, but they just have to do it. Exactly. People, you know, it's just I'll, I'll give you an example of promoters. You know, mm -hmm. on this side of the the planet you would see promoters now coming together and be able mm -hmm. to put on a bigger show. Like this past Sunday, we had a show. It was supposed to be two shows going on. Like I had a show with Iowa and guest artists. And then there was another show as well that same day with Kerwin. Mm -hmm. And they ended up coming mm -hmm. together and made a grand show. So so we got to yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely make that happen Big like up that. Cordell's, <laughs> so as far as you know if 
we as a people can come together, much more things could happen. Not only for soca music, calypso music, but for the culture. Exactly. That's the main thing. Okay. And, so the and speaking of... In... I got some... Sorry, I'm losing you, oh. For the culture. I'm losing you again. Okay, just waiting until you to come back. The signal. Just waiting until the signal comes back. Yeah, because he's, he's, he's driving, guys, so the signal isn't the best right now. I guess, um, yeah. He'll be back, guys. Hey, Trini, Cindy. <laughs> Big up everyone that's on the live, guys. I do apologize. He'll be back. The signal's just playing up because, you know, he's driving and, you know, like, he, he could be going through a tunnel. So yeah, on the go, doing this interview on the go. That shows dedication. That shows how how busy he is. How, how busy he is. <laughs> that Trinidad service in N1. <laughs> Yo. Nah, it happens, you know, the signal. The signal is the worst thing. So we're just waiting for him to come back. Got a few more questions and we wrap up the wrap up the interview guys. But yeah. Where's everyone tuning in from? Share your location. Let me know. Cause it's like 1053 over here. Let me know where you're tuning in from, everyone. But yeah. New Orleans, South Carolina. Okay. A lot of people from the States. You guys are so lucky. Toronto. I'm so jealous of everyone in the States right now. You guys have Carnival and we don't have Carnival. <laughs> and ATL, big up yourself. Yes, Atlanta in the house. I'm jealous of you guys though. Because you guys have Carnival and you guys can party. And we're still here half kind of locked down. <laughs> NYC, big up yourself. I'm not sure what that flag is, you know. Is that German? Me, Germany. Um, the real, the real Schnells. What flag is that? Oh, Miami. Is only Miami Carnival. Okay, okay. Let me get DJ Spice back in, guys. I don't know how to do this though. When he sends the request. It doesn't let me accept him when he sends me the request. But yeah. I thought New York Carnival, or was it um, Labor Day? So there's no Labor Day then, just... Oh yes, Germany. I knew it. I said it, you know, I said Germany. <laughs> Big up yourself, tuning in from Germany, wow. What's it like right now in Germany? You guys locked down? What's the guidelines right now for in Germany? While we wait for DJ Spice to come back in. No parkway this year. Oh no. We don't even know if we're having Night Hill Carnival. We're still waiting to find out if we are still we're gonna have our night of carnival or not so it's sold for us and um because i'm trinidadian and trinidad carnival is cancelled next year so even more salt so yeah <laughs> okay let me accept he's back guys uh 
I have accepted a request. Hmm. It's not letting him join back in, guys, for some reason. Just bear with me. Hold on, guys. It's not a, um, letting him join in for some reason. Hmm. Oh, there we are. I was like, what's going on? Our signal again. Yeah. Our... Signal. Hold on. Signal is... You can hear me signal good? Signal is weak. Yeah, it's spinning. Still playing. Still playing up. We're getting there. We're getting there. Are we good? Hold on. Yeah. Still a bit. Still free. It's still freezing a little bit, but. All right. How about now? Hold on. I can hear you, but it's still kind of freezing. City. <laughs> Trading Cindy. Trinity City. City spicy reach Trinidad. <laughs> you like to have a be mobile SIM card day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what quarter is it? Like I'll be mobile? Yeah. Yeah, quarter. I'll be mobile. Okay, okay Canadian guy. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm only got like like four more questions. All right, are we going? More, so... All right, we're back. We're back. Okay, so what are some life lessons this pandemic has taught you? All right, hold on. <laughs> Let me see because you were breaking up a little bit. What has okay. the pandemic taught Can you? you? Oh, okay. What has the pandemic? Yeah. pandemic. Sorry, she doing interview. But I heard what she said. Yeah, that's what okay. I said. Yeah, what what has the pandemic? Yeah. <laughs> All right, what has the pandemic taught me that uh, I had to get my video game up mm. and also, you know, spending more time with the family. Spending more time creating, you know, but definitely being not able to move around, I had to step my whole video game up. Okay. With the virtuals to the point of even being able to set up my fellow DJs, mm -hmm. setting up their studios and stuff, you know, but. Yeah. Would you say um, Twitch and stuff like that made, made you, you know, go on to more social media platforms and stuff like that? Oh, uh, yeah, the Twitch. Yeah. Like, I've had all these accounts, but now I'm using them. Yeah. Because before, I didn't have time. Yeah. But yeah. now, it's Twitch. We zoom in parties. People, they zoom in. They, they virtual everything. Mm. Okay. You know. So, which are your top three carnivals? My top... Are we putting Trinidad in that? Or... Yeah, you put Trinidad in that. So, Trinidad one. Yeah. London. And then... Hmm, Trinidad, London. I'm then, surprised you said London. No. Not a lot of it's people vibes. think you know. But Yo, it's a really big carnival. Yeah. People, well, people don't know. You know, and you could say that I'm one of the ambassadors for london mm. coming to london before people there it was a fad mm. you know i've been coming out there for uh choice fm poison uk mm. you know so i'm coming out there years okay nice 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 you know so trinidad london uh trinidad london <clears throat> and then i'll, I'll give it a, a three-way tie between miami New York and Toronto. Okay. Okay. Have you ever been to any of these other carnivals? Mm, 
I've only been to Trinidad and London. And, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah, well, you <laughs> I've could. Been, I've been you to could. Um, New York when I was like, what, probably in 2006, 2008. And I've lived in Canada mm-hmm. for a year. So. But, yeah, oh, you lived in Canada? Carnival. Yeah, oh, okay. I've lived in um, Edmonton, Alberta. Okay. Yeah. Mad big cold, big mad up my Canadians. Yeah. <laughs> mad cool. Yeah. Different so, okay. kind of. So, big up my London family. Trini Tops Shutter. My Say again. King of Brooklyn Spice. What, do you have a memorable experience at Carnival you'd like to share with us? And which one? I mean, the ones, the memorable anyone trinidad let's say let's talk about trinidad, trinidad. Uh, i don't know i've just been been blessed to be able to be one of the main trucks in the carnival yeah. mm-hmm. you know playing on a marshall montano truck or even before mm-hmm. that playing on a poison not poison uk a poison trinidad truck mm-hmm. and having the superstars and stuff around. You have Marshall on one side of the truck. You have Chinese Laundry on one side of the truck. You have Destra in the band. You know, so big up. Big up to all the bands that I've played for. Big up to the Barbarossa. Big up to the Poison. The Island. The Island. Uh, what was that? Island People. Humor. Yeah. Well, Humor well, is a break off from Island People. You know, went to Humor. And I went to Tribe. After tribe, uh, fantasy, after fantasy, paparazzi. So I, I've been around, been around the block. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, what you said. The better question is, what carnival have you not been to? <laughs> carnival I've not been to. Uh, I have not. Uh, Saint Lucia. I've been oh. to pre. I played. I performed down there before the carnival. Mm. And I had to leave because of prior bookings and stuff. Okay. So that's one carnival I want to put. As soon as the place open back up regular, I need okay. to be down there in St. Lucia. Vinci's another place. Yeah. You know, yeah. that would have been happening in 2020. But, you know, Mr. Pandemic said, you're going to chill. So, so how do you feel that you kind of so, canceled I, a game with that? Like, how do you feel about that? How would I feel? Like, how does it feel? Uh, how are you feeling that it's cancelled again? And uh, two years in a row now. You know what? You know, you just got to make the best of it. You know? You just got to make the best of it. So, like, last, this 2021 cancelled, right? So, I saw that Trinidad wasn't doing anything. So, mm-hmm. my, I made up our own Juve, our own Team Soccer Juve on zoom Hmm. you know shout out to everyone that was on that we did our own virtual monday and tuesday Hmm. you know just for the people basically because how you gonna cancel trinidad carnival and do nothing how (laughs) (laughs) people people block out that whole time that whole time frame Hmm. i go down there trinidad for a month playing on the radio playing parties playing Juve, playing Monday and Tuesday. And 2021, you, you cancel the carnival and you do nothing. Yeah. So I said, you know what? The people, people need something, you know, to keep their spirits up. So we came up with the Team Soka Juve. Mm-hmm. And the funny thing is that that same weekend, my family, uh, International Steven, yeah. He came up with the carnival bubble in Orlando. So we were in Orlando. Mm-hmm. I had to walk in my portable studio. And while in, in the hotel, I was playing along with all the guys that were part of the, the Team Soka DJ that were part of the, the broadcast on, on Zoom. And as well as, uh, got a big up to the World Fed people because they had their virtual yeah. as well okay. on Synergy. Yeah, but- so I was playing for my hotel room in Trinidad, and to the world. Nice. Keep the culture going. Yeah, we got, yo, we got to keep the culture. 
that is the whole thing. Just keep the keep the culture going. Keep it keep doing it for the kids so that they would uh yeah. carry on the thing. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. You know? So when you reflect about all your accomplishments and all your achievements, you know, mm -hmm. how does that make you feel? Oh that I still gotta keep pushing. You know, because we we're getting there, but we ain't reach it. Mm. You know, we can't stop. So, yeah. all the accomplishments and stuff is good, but we, we still, we still need Rihanna to do a soca song with with Kowin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, we exactly. or with Kiss, or with a Bungie or Marshall. You know, we yeah. still need, we still need that, we still need that light. Push so Soka needs that light. Team Soka needs that light. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, you mm -hmm. know, that, that kind of just wraps up the interview, you know. Um, what's next for DJ Spice and Team Soka then? What's next? Well, right now, mm -hmm. we have that ju uh, Juve in June this Saturday morning, 6 a.m. in New York City. Mm -hmm. uh, Bungie Garland. Big up DJ Nori, big up Trickster, Coney Island this Saturday mm -hmm. evening. Sunday, we head to Orlando, Bungie Garland Live, big up to the Florida family. Uh, hopefully, by next week, I'll be announcing it, exactly what we're doing for New York Carnival. Okay. Uh, going to Vegas. Well, June. I was born June 3rd, right? So that makes me a Gemini. And every June, mm -hmm. I do a, a, a tour different cities. Last week was South Carolina. This week, we're in New York. At the end of the year, we go, no, I'm sorry, end of the month, we're going to Vegas. So big up to the Tam, Tambu weekend. Mm. Lots of events. Late, Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. So, yeah, lots going on. Also, in between all of that, I'm opening a restaurant in Brooklyn. Oh, wow. Yeah. Little Caribbean, flat, 774 Flatbush Avenue. Mm -hmm. Hopefully to be open within the next month. Okay. Show a little bit about the menu. What sorts of foods can we expect? Oh, uh, it'll be a nice Caribbean fusion. You know, mm -hmm. the best of the best. Okay. Get some doubles from me or... You might be able to get doubles. <laughs> when I release the menu, the world yeah. will see what's, what's happening. Nice, nice, nice. Wow, you seem like yeah. Life is so it, it don't stop. It don't stop. It don't stop. It so don't what stop. What do you do in your spare time? What's that? What, what do you do in your what, spare time? What is spare time? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. Keep going. Yes, that's that's Keep that's going. Right there. Yeah. Okay. You know. Well, uh, I don't know. Watch movies. Mm. Find uh. Read books. So find something. Yeah. That, you know. Did the pandemic allow you to, you know, rest a bit more, or did you did you still, you know, kept working and you didn't really have much sleep and, you know, you actually got some good rest and stuff a lot more and did the pandemic allow that for with, you? Or? With with what? Uh, did the pandemic give me time to sleep more? You saying? Yeah, like some more time to like rest up. Did you have that time to yourself in the pandemic? Ooh, no, no, no. No. <laughs> mm, maybe a little bit in the beginning. Well, let me give you the mm. joke, right? Mm. 2020. Mm. I was down in Trinidad for about a month. Right. After Carnival, I usually go to Tobago, chill out, relax. After Tobago, come back to New York and start the Carnival hopping, parties, whatever, whatever, whatever. Right? So, then the pandemic started. Right? So, that mm. was in March. So I came back to New York. I'll, I'll, let me give you the timeline. I came back to New York March 8th. I had to play in Toronto March that weekend. Mm -hmm. I came, I went, played, came back to New York. Mm -hmm. I was actually supposed to go back to Trinidad because my grandfather had passed away like two weeks prior to that. Mm -hmm. We had a funeral for him in New York. They, we sent the body to, to Trinidad. We were supposed to fly. And that's when they had locked 
they had a shutdown in Trinidad. Uh-huh. So I couldn't go. So as soon as the place opens back up, we're going to do like a nice little tribute to him. Yeah. yeah. You know, but since then, so that was March, I had to become video guy. Yeah. Learn what Zoom is, you know, learn what the virtual process, make sure that, you know, you have the correct lighting, correct camera, mm-hmm. correct computer, make sure the processing is good, your background is good. You know, so there wasn't really any time to rest. Might have been a little time, but yeah. With with technology, you're, you're always learning something new. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You know, so have you had time to rest? Yeah, I had a lot of time to rest, <laughs> and I had to work from home. <laughs> right. And, and now, now that was the, that was the, the the best thing for you know people that. Yeah. You just have to go into the office. You know, now they're able to. But I don't like it. I'd rather be <laughs> active and running around. And mm-hmm. Gotcha. When my son was off school for so long. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. Was, and he's, 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 still, he's still young, so mm-hmm. it was not easy. But, you know, I made it. Still doing it. Still doing push soca. Still doing my thing. So mm-hmm. that's the main thing. Yeah. yeah. Just got to keep pushing it, you know? Yeah, definitely. And inspiring and inspiring other people to want to join in, start their own thing, you know. Mm-hmm. Big up to yes. the UK soca scene. Uh, big, up. big up Live Love Soca, you know. Yeah. Big up to Carnival Mania. Big up to Back and Out Radio. Big up to all my UK family. Yeah, because honestly, you know? These, you know, the platforms is what is kind. What well is what's pushing the artists and the culture as well. Mm-hmm. It's just keeping us yeah because look happy. look at how many great how many great tracks came out last year yeah and you it's know? still a lot and still music. and still coming yeah yeah okay you know so big up Talk big up to the artists big what up to the song artists. right now is on your playlist that you can't stop listening to wow <laughs> what song is on the playlist <laughs> which one uh, the one that you like so much from last year? Yeah. No, I'm talking about this, year. this year. Yeah, we're talking about that. Oh, cool. And essential fashion. No. And that's then... yours. <laughs> wow. This is my interview. Uh huh. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Question. Big up Cohen. Cohen got a couple nice songs there. Mm. Couple nice songs. Oh. Uh, Lyrical album. just released one. Mm. Hold on. Hold on. Let me talk the things. <laughs> yeah. Lyrical. But right now, you see. That gas station rhythm. Mm-hmm. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. You understand? Big up my brother in- international, Stephen. Yeah. Big up. But you see that you see that Ricardo Drew? You see that mm-hmm. skinny? You see that Mike Love? Man, listen. Out with the first one to play that in South Carolina and mash up mash up the place. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. So look out for that rhythm, gas station rhythm. Yeah. I've heard on a it's truck. Mad. It's mad. Right? And remember, and call my name. <laughs> right. Definitely, definitely. But yeah, That's yeah, fun. yeah. Yeah, and it got, it, got, it got tons of stuff coming out. So stay tuned. Mm-hmm. Keep it locked, teamsoka.com. Check me out from 10 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Right, because you know the time difference. Yeah. So ten AM, which is like afternoon time your your time. Ten AM is uh yeah. five, five well ten AM in yeah. your time? Yeah, ten AM in my time. So you got you think you're five hours behind me, so five AM our time. No 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 no. No, we actually you ahead. Yeah, so you said ten AM your time. Mm-hmm. Okay. So ten, eleven, twelve, twenty four. Yeah, so Three o'clock? Yeah. Yeah. So about three your time, right? I do a show Monday through Friday with my partner, Big Nito. Okay. You know, we call it the Soka Breakfast Club. Oh, yes. I've seen that. Definitely. Right? So my homeboy, my brother, Mastermind, he does a show called the Cock Up Morning Show from 8 to 10. Then we come on, then Freeze International from New York. Then 
depending on the day, different DJs. Yeah. Frankie well, P, Spoiled Rod, Sonic Boom. We got to that. Um, so, let's keep it locked, Team Soda. Coming. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we just trying to keep the art form alive. No, but thank you much. Big up to the Push Soka family. Yeah, thank you so much. You know, you keep so doing much, your though. thing. Yeah. You know, I know you're on the go, and thank you for giving yeah, us literally. time. Literally on the go. Literally on the go. Yeah, you know, let me give you a tune. All right, right now, we're in Manhattan. Wow. All right, hold upper on, let me give you Upper West Side. I've been to New York in years. Yeah. When's the last time you've been? 2006. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm sure it's changed a lot since then. Mm -hmm. a lot of yeah, a lot right. of big buildings. Yeah, but yeah, uh, keep doing your thing. Look out for some new Team Soaker merchandise as well. Uh, some okay. different colors for the summer. Right now, the hottest thing right now is Don Jackass the thing. Yes, Don Jackass the thing. It's serious. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Shipping worldwide, you know. Okay. Yeah, I'll be getting mines as well, definitely. For all the for all the listeners, uh, Soka Twenty One use that code, get a little discount. Soka at Soka checkout. 21? Yeah, Soka Twenty One. Okay. No worries. Well, thank Don't you. Don't say so I ain't getting nothing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> So, so you can, I can use the code once because I know everybody in the last Yeah, you can use it as yeah. much time. You can okay. use it as much time as you want. Nice, nice. All right. Well, thank you again for joining us. And we'll see My pleasure. Later. Yeah. Have a safe journey to where you're heading to and enjoy the rest of your day. Big, big up to all the listeners. Uh, push and keep pushing Soka. All right, DJ Spice says so. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. Blessings. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, thank you guys for being so patient with us, you know, with the whole signal and stuff like that. Definitely, we're pushing Soka, so follow Push Soka if you've not followed Push Soka as yet. We have more interviews coming next week, so tune into that. And, you know, that was the amazing DJ Spice. He's so inspirational, like, yes, it was a pleasure speaking to him, so yeah. I'm going to sign out now, guys. So enjoy the rest of your nights, all right? And see you guys next week. Bye.